everybody and welcome to this short video of myself and Ben. Um, ben has joined us to talk about, I suppose, quality of tone, Ben, and, and understanding how to make a, a, a good authoritative tone and just being, I suppose, in tune, without a pun there, but in tune with what's happening with your instrument and getting air down. And there's a couple of yeah. things exercise-wise you want to show us as well, yeah? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's funny, The I guess the instrument, playing any instrument, obviously, it requires many years of hard work and lots of dedicated time for practice. But what is sort of never far from my mind with the clarinet is that actually the goal, if we were to call it that, it's quite simple. We're just sending air down the instrument. Um, and that, that sort of frames um, how I practice and the, the bulk of the sort of exercises that I do to stay in shape and to try and improve. Um, be basically being in touch with um, the quality of how I'm breathing and how I'm blowing um, and how that relates to the concept I have in my head, the sound. Okay, so is there a particular exercise you could just give us a sample yeah. of that, yeah? Yeah, so I mean, uh, I think a crescendo and diminuendo exercise is a classic one. It's sort of the basis of how we maintain quality and intonation in the sound at different dynamics um, uh, because those things can be quite easy to go if we uh, if we're not so aware of how we're using the air so might start with something like this <sighs> something where I'm really trying to keep the pitch consistent by keeping the airstream consistent um, uh, while I'm changing notes in different registers. So in terms of what's in your mind at that point, it's, it's yeah. really listening for, for the pitch. Definitely. Yeah. And it's, um, you know, keeping, starting with a nice relaxed breath, but deep and um, keeping, just keeping the air flowing very consistently. And supported. It's very possible to, um, very easy to fall into the habit of sort of being quite passive with the air, you know. And then we sort of, we, we lose the legato, we lose some quality in the sound um, if we're not really thinking about how the air is traveling. And I think the, the dynamic side is interesting, isn't it? Because a lot of times when people push dynamically, that can negatively affect intonation. Definitely, it? yeah, yeah. So it's a really important one. On the clarinet, the tendency will be that if you're sort of really pushing a loud sound, maybe in an adverse way, like you're uh, creating it with jaw pressure rather than air pressure, the pitch can go quite flat, you know. That kind of thing, nasty sound like that. Um, and yeah, that's where just really being actively aware of how the air is traveling in the instrument, that's quite important. So that perhaps could form part of a warm up and regular exercises to do with, with the dynamics there. So just doing that across those intervals and arpeggios and whatever it might be is the yep. best way to do it. Okay, cool. Any other bits around perhaps um, staccato or tonguing or any things like yeah. just getting your lips moving like that? I mean, I mean, again, I think articulation is, it's just an extension of legato, basically. The tongue is a really um, small muscle at the end of the day and we have a sort of it's hard to gain control of it. And I think uh, probably the best analogy is thinking about speech. And when, when we're feeling relaxed and our throat is open, we can say sentences and enunciate words very clearly. Um, but we're not really, at the same time, we're not putting too much effort on the tongue. So I think about that with the clarinet. I like to think about being relaxed, letting the air really take over, and the tongue is a sort of... Um, sort of auxiliary to that task um, and so I, I have an exercise where I say I'll do a scale I'll do it first legato and then I'll do it uh, like legato tongue to neuto and then something shorter like a staccato <laughs> So 
I'm really trying to keep the air moving in, uh, in exactly the same way in these three versions. Um, so that then, you know, something a little bit faster like... <laughs> feels a little bit easier to accomplish when I'm just letting the air take over. So do you think perhaps sometimes, a couple of things, there might be an occasion where if somebody has something quite rapid like that and, and it is um, staccato, sometimes panic sets in. Oh, definitely. And then the air shuts down. It happens to me all the time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, it's not just me. But the air shuts down, doesn't it? And yeah. then it becomes even harder. Yes. So you sort of kill yourself before you even get a chance to get it yep. out. So maybe with the exercise there, that just helps you getting used to keeping that air support. Yeah. There. I mean, you know, when you, in situ, I guess, when you come to a passage that contains a really fast bit of tonguing, your brain doesn't have enough time to process each, you know, da 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 da, -da each single note. Um, so that's got to have come from the sort of the positive psychological practice of just doing it in a in a style where it feels easy and relaxed and you're doing the right physical processes. Yeah. And like you say, it's a muscle, like you would go and work out any muscles to improve their yeah. flexibility and elasticity. But you wouldn't overwork them. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think that's quite, that's quite key as well. You know, you, there's a technique to, not that I weight lift at all, <laughs> so I'm sure you Pair can see. Pair of us look like huge <laughs> weightlifters, don't we? Yeah. But, but from what I understand, there's a, there's a technique to, you know, supporting the weights from the right part of the body yeah. rather than, you know, going down with the wrists and like lifting a 100 kilo, uh, what do they call them, dumbbells. Yes. And, um, uh, you know, that is a gateway straight to an injury. Yeah. Um, so again, just a little bit of sort of good mental planning with how you're approaching the articulation, quite important. Good. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much for those no useful worries. tips. So everybody go away and do some more practice on that. That'd be very kind. And uh, we shall be back again with some other videos with Ben talking about clarinet playing, clarinets, choosing clarinets, all sorts of things. So check those out and uh, we shall speak to you again very soon.